Hello, today I'd like to show you some more things to do with five inch squares. Um, there are other things in life other than five inch squares, so I'm told, but we're liking five inch squares again today. So today I thought I'd show you how you might use your five inch squares in a tumbler shape. There's not a lot of waste, we just need to trim the squares a little bit. Um, and it's, it's quite a lot of fun. You can use up a lot of different colours and make a scrappy looking quilt. Or you could use, today I'm just doing black and white. Um, and I'm going to alternate my, my shapes with a white tumbler as well. So I'm going to show you how to cut the 5 inch squares into the tumbler shape. And then because I'm cutting my alternate fabric, I'm going to show you how to cut that as well. So here we've got, we're starting off with a 5 inch square. And you can see that I've trimmed it just a little bit. Um, so I'm laying that down on my board and I'm using my board to help me with the trimming. So we're not altering the size particularly, we're just going to narrow two sides. So by lining it up with the markings on my board so that my five inches is sitting quite neatly, I've actually laid four fabrics together because I'm a little bit lazy like that and I like to cut more than one at a time. I wouldn't go too many more than four because it can start getting a little bit um, slippery. So I've got four laid together. And to, to create this shape, I've worked out that if I just lay my ruler on the corner of the 5 inch here and bring it across to the 4 inch, or just bring it across 1 inch at the other end of the 5 inch square, and then I just cut that away, that works really well. And then all I need to do is slide over here and again come through this corner at the 5 inch and have it going at an angle into the next inch. So what I've ended up with now is three inches at that end but still five in inches at this end so we'll just do that again i've got another little pile here just to show you again it's a five inch square it's lined up with the ruler uh, sorry with the board with the markings and we're going to cut from the corner we're going to slide the ruler at an angle so that it comes out right through the four inch or the one inch across line and we're going to take that away and without moving the fabric I can come back and I can line up through this corner and again one inch in at this end here and just cut through there. So I'm now three inches at this end and five inches at this end. So that's as, it's as simple as that. Now I'm making basically a two colour quilt, black and white and white but you might be using up scraps, so you might want to do a whole load of these. But because I want to cut my white to go in between, um, I'm going to, I've got some five inch strips that I've cut from my fabric here, and I've got two of them folded, laid one on top of the other. And I'm going to lay them on my board, again, so that I can line it up with the markings on my board, it's sitting nice and straight. And I'm going to cut that same shape. I could just cut five inch squares, and I could, then have to trim them down into this tumbler shape. But I thought that that seemed a little bit senseless to go to that much trouble when I could just do it all in one go. So instead of trimming off at a straight here from the end, I've got my selvages hanging over here. So I'm going through this point here and I'm going to have that angle, that same angle as we did before, um, up to the one inch there, one inch in there. So that comes off at that shape there. And now I want to move this along. Now I might have to just count and I want to go five inches here and it's going to be three inches at that end. And the same thing, I'm just going to cut through. So remember I've got four layers of fabric here but they're all sitting nicely in, in their strips. So I'm going to cut through there and that's my tumbler shape. And I can continue on that, right, that strip of fabric cutting all the way along without having to move anything. So just remember you're doing your angle but that's sliding from one inch to the next with your ruler through those points. And I can see the points because I'm using the board to help me do that. And it just fits really nicely in a strip of fabric. So I've got two, two three, four, five. That means I've got 10 of these tumbler shapes to a strip of fabric, which is really helpful to know if you're trying to calculate things. And now I've got all these cut, so I'm actually just going to lay these in a pile that are all up the same way. I 
it, it's helpful if you sew them. So we're going to sew one of these to one of these. And it's helpful if you sew them all the same way. So you can chain piece them. So um, for me, I'm going to start with my wide of my black at the top and the narrow of the white. And I'm going to put them right sides together. And I'm going to go to the sewing machine. And just with our regular quarter inch seam, so I put them right sides together. Now they're sitting at a bit of a funny angle, but you can line it up pretty well. And these five inch squares have got quite a big little pinked edge on them, which is interesting. Um, and I'm just going to cut, uh, sorry, sew th the quarter inch seam along that edge there. You, if I didn't have those funny little corners, uh, the zigzag edge on the fabric, you would be finding that you had just little tiny points sticking out at each end. So we'll do that again, and you can chain piece these through. So that one, lay it, so I've got the wide at the top, the then the narrow. I'm going to lay it right sides together. And you would normally have just a little tiny bit of this fabric peeking out and a little tiny bit of the white peeking out at that end. So that it's sitting nicely. So this is quite a fun way to, to do tumblers. Okay, we'll just do one more. Right side up, flip it over, center it so that you think it's in the right place, and sew it with a quarter inch seam. So I'll just quickly press those, and then we'll have a little bit of fun with um, a couple of layout options that I can show you. Now I'm going to press my seam in towards my colour, into my black and white. It's always a good idea if you can. And now we'll have a little play with some of these little bits. I did a few extras before so that we can just have a look at how you might lay them out. So there's a couple of different options the way I said, because I've chosen to do mine quite specifically in, in two colors, as in that's a color, the black and white's a color and the white's a color. You could just go along in rows and join them together in rows like that. And then you could come along and join your next row so that you'd end up with a look more like that. And you you would, of course, worked out how many bits you need along a row. Um, and so that way you get this, this kind of checkerboardy look because I've chosen to do it with an alternate plane, which I think is quite pleasing to the eye. And if you were using multicolored fabrics and scraps, you could have darks here and lights here, or you could have reds here and blues here, or there's so many choices, or you could just completely do it and randomly scrap. Um, another option would be with the layout, in, instead of, I might just put one more row out. Instead of doing them so that you get this sort of alternate uh, look, if you flip every second one, around, you get this kind of stripe that's not exactly straight, but that also could be very effective. If you're a, um, a quilter, you, this is giving you a wonderful place on, in all this plane in between to do some nice um, quilting. So I just thought it would be fun to play with the tumblers to play with black and white because that's always nice and refreshing um, and just to give you another idea of what you might do with your five inch squares because if you're like me you've, you've probably got lots. Thank you.